Hi, this is Hitty Brand. I would like to review today how to do a keyword research with Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool. This is free and this is a very good tool, so you might as well use it. Now, let me explain why would you want to use keyword research. So now you picture that you're the little bird right here and you're creating content, whether it's a blog post, a video, and you have people driving on the highway right here and they're thinking, okay, so how to train my dog? Nutritious shake. And they're gonna look on Google, they're gonna do a Google research and what they're doing when they're doing a Google research is that they are looking for an answer to their problem. So you want to use their own keywords in order for them to go to your content. Otherwise, they will never find your piece of article or your video. So you want to find, so what your job is, is to figure out which keywords people are looking for on Google in order for them to go to your content, to your video, to your blog post. Now let's see how that works. So in order to use a Google Keyword Planner, you need to have a Google account. So if you do not have a Google account, then just go ahead and sign up for it. It's free and it's actually very useful to have a Google Plus account. Um, then you go to adwords.google.com, then tools and analysis, and then go to keyword planner. And there you're going to click on search for new keywords and add group ideas. So let's take for instance uh, dog training. So dog training is very broad. How to train my dog. Now you want to add for like four or five keywords that you're thinking about or if you don't have any ideas then you just look up on Google like how to train and they're going to give you already some suggestions that people are looking for how to train okay, my dog To sit, not to bark. So that's why just to sit. How, whoops, how to train my dog to sit. All right, and then you get targeting here. So you want to target your target market. So if you're selling products or services that are available worldwide, then you just leave it on all locations. If you are just selling, let's say, to the United States or the United Kingdom, then you want to make sure that you're just clicking on that location. You just add in that location, United States, you see, because this is going to be a lot more specific and it's going to tell you, Google is going to tell you exactly in your target market, what people are looking for. So now obviously we're using English, but if you're writing an article in another language, then your keywords are gonna be in another language and you definitely wanna make sure that here you're clicking on your language. So let's say Bulgarian, Chinese, French, etc. Get ideas. This is actually made for Google Keyword Planner is made to create ads. It's a tool to create ads. Since we don't want to create ads, we're just going to click on Keyword Ideas. And we're not going to care too much about high or medium or low because this is relevant to ads. So dog training, 60,500 monthly searches, how to train my dog, 1,000, and how to train my dog, so 6, 70 monthly searches. So you could say, well, that's great, 60,500, so I'm just gonna use dog training as my keyword. Well, great, but what that means is that it's gonna be really hard to rank on the first page of Google 
with that keyword because it's very broad. So what I recommend is that you go for the low hanging fruits, 9,000, 5,000 searches per month. As long as you have the other part of uh, on page SEO and off page SEO figured out, then it should be pretty quick for you to rank for that keyword. So here we have how to train my dog, which is very specific. So it's going to actually attract people who are looking for a specific search. So here you could write your article or make your video around this keyword, how to train my dog. Now what happens if you just use a keyword, how to train my dog to sit, you only have 70 monthly searches per month, which is, which is okay. You will still get some traffic. But as you can tell, it's going to be a little better to just try to rank for that keyword because you're going to get a lot more traffic to your blog, post or video. And now here below you're getting keywords by relevance. So just go hit average monthly, monthly searches and here it's going to be in order from the highest monthly searches to the lowest. So here we have um, how many? We have 548 relevant keywords. So you want to like scroll down. You can start around 5,000. You could go between like 5,000 and 1,000. So let's go to right there. Potty training a puppy. So that's giving you ideas that are relevant to your keyword search. So if you want to write an article around potty training a puppy, that seems great. Paul is dog, puppy biting, dog trainer, housebreaking a puppy. That's a good one. How to housebreak a puppy, dog behavior, how to toilet train a puppy etc etc so your job when you're creating content you want to create your content on purpose you don't want to just create an article for the sake of it you just want to create your content to bring people to bring traffic to your website to your blog to your video correct so your job is to figure out what are people looking for, what are their problems, how can you solve their problems. That's basically what Google is about. People go on Google to solve their problems and you want to be the person solving their problems. It's pretty simple when we think about it. To sum up, here are this little bird. You're creating your content, your blog post, your video, and after doing a keyword research, you're going to be able to tell exactly what people on the highway are looking for, on the internet are looking for. And you're going to be able to attract people to your content, to your website, to your blog post, to your video. That is all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you found this video helpful, Please share it and comment and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.